Hello everyone and welcome, I'm Alex, the architect for back app and in today's video we'll continue our data object subseries inside our React Native and Parse series of videos. Today we'll be talking about arrays. So when you create a class in a Parse application, you can set a property and define its type to be an array type. It allows you to save arrays and use arrays operations inside those properties. But there are some caveats you have to uh, understand before you use such a data type. So first, Parse will validate the array format when storing data, but it will not validate the array type. So for instance, if you have two objects, one can contain an array and valid array of strings, and the other one can have a valid array of numbers. So if you need to ch check uh, if the contents of the array match your business logic, uh, you have to check the, those values yourself and write some logic for it. So here I am in my to-do app inside my back for app parse application and here I have my to-do class to which I'm going to add a new column, choose the data type array, call it elements and hit add a column. So here you can see I have two empty arrays. So for this object here, I'm going to set an array of strings. Let's put some names in here. So Alex, comma, Alison, comma, and a V. So it's a valid array, it will allow me to save. And for the second element, uh, for the second object here, let's set a array of numbers. So one, comma, two, comma, three, comma, four. So it's a valid array again, so it will allow me to save. So let's imagine for this class specifically, I will need only uh, an arrays of strings to be uh, stored. In this case, I would have to write logic in cloud code to ensure there are only strings elements inside an array and only then allowing it to save to the class. You have to write this logic yourself. Once again, parse will only validate the array uh, as a valid array type. Okay, so and how to do it by code? Here I have my Visual Studio. So first I will instantiate the class that I'm working on, in this case to do. So let to do equals new parse.object to do. Then I'm going to create an array. Uh, this will be a string array. So let my array equals, and then a valid array. Uh, here I have four strings, element one, element two, element three, and element four. Then I'm going to set, uh, as we saw before, to do that set elements, which is my property name, which is up here uh, as a string comma and my array. Then I'm going to do a try catch block where I'm going to try to save the to do. Await, because this is a synchronous call, to do dot save. If it works, alert dot alert successfully saved. If it doesn't work, we will enter the catch block where we are going to alert dot alert error and the error message. So this is how we store arrays uh, in React Native in your parse application. This is a very useful and very flexible uh, uh, data type that you can benefit from. So uh, I recommend you to uh, try to do some operations and try to write different arrays so you can learn how to better use it. Hope to see you in the next video of the series soon. Bye bye.